What we are saying is have a heart. We've got to be able to regenerate our people. The people who are kind, people who are cruel, but that's life. You can be bigger about bigger. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with that. While we are educating the people with special needs, the, the other the problem with teams is that yeah. the other people are, need to be educated as well. Absolutely. So what is being done about that? I would like to make a point about that, please. Um, one thing that needs to be done is that we need to educate um, employers. Mm -hmm. We need to educate employers that young adults with special needs c tend to be much more... Um, um, open there they tend to be much more honest honest reliable they, reliable um and and st and sticking with the job they're not going to run off yeah, they're, like, uh, they're not yeah. going to run off because somebody There's else a sense of responsibility yes yeah. and they won't you know they won't job hop which is a singaporean behavior i testify to that my husband runs a social enterprise professor brown cafe and half his staff are, are that way yeah. and very reliable and Autism, of course, very rigid, but you turn the weakness to a strength. You know? yeah, and absolutely. when they finish peeling, they'll ask, Mr. Tay, what uh, do is I there some more, more, yeah. more, some more work to do? And, and if you look at the work. Asperger's, so, so you have so many children here with Asperger's mm. syndrome. Very high IQs. Very good yeah. IT. Very, very yeah. intelligent. Very good with detail. Absolutely. Very focused, Software almost testing, to the yes. obsessive point. Those children in the States are headhunted by really high paid jobs. There are speciality employment agencies who have the kind of job that require intensive concentration, boring over and over repetitive task that you know you or I would go out and, and we couldn't do it. So it seems like a bigger yes. problem if, if, if or an equal problem is that uh, the other side of the coin, the There's employers are actually not educated enough about the condition of, of uh, special needs people. And what their possibilities are. They can and what their offer. possibilities okay, are. We have an employer here, the <laughs> Singapore Equestrian Centre. But I think he's one of the enlightened. <laughs> <laughs> okay, what, what makes you want to employ them? There was a lack of lab, uh, local labour in the industry. So what happens <coughs> is that we needed more workers. And, and basically the jobs that we do, well, a typical Singaporean would not want to do clean the stables, no way. And and we so it was not altruistic. You were it was not driven by commercial no. needs. It's a need. It's a win-win. Okay. I think the key here. I think the key here for special needs and the That's only right. one of the only ways we can ever change the attitude is that you cannot say, "Oh, we are condescending. Oh, we are trying to accommodate you, so we purposefully employ you." No, I think it's more like, I think you can work. I think you can do the job and I apply you. Are you paying them the same as an able person? Okay, the thing here is because of who we employ, they are more intellectual disability, they don't tend to have the same uh, ability. As in they, uh, you see, more disability, it is a wide spectrum of them and there are many, many forms of uh, problem, uh, I and mean, I would say behavioral issues that prevent them from doing the job well. So some are just immature, Immaturity, they can, one of them told me I want to go home and we just left, you know what I mean? Uh, or they start crying, and so they can cry for really quite long, and, and then it stops work. So, so when those things happen, I guess as an employer, we have to get, be a bit more um, understanding about it. But routinely, routine jobs, like routinely, like clean this, clean that, you know, they will do it most of the time. It's really because important, isn't it, though, to make sure as you as you've just been saying that the job that you you ask of the person yes. is within their capacity yes. because every one of them needs to experience success yes. in order to grow yes. and to gain confidence and to move forward yes. but which is why i truly believe in a setting up a system mm. instead yeah. of just uh, being compassionate <coughs> yes, right. the system yeah. has yes, to start yes. with assessing yes. mm. assessing the profile right. of the person their strength yes. the areas of interest what they can do their abilities yep. you know and then uh, training them if there are gaps that are important that needs to be filled and you know, closed. And if we could bring in people to educate the bosses, if we could set in our system, right. have that set up so that the bosses aren't stressed out, and that we are bringing in people to to train not only the the adults with special needs but the bosses as well. Well, I agree. Yeah, what Liz you missed the yeah. point here actually. Bosses are very nice. Everybody would do. The biggest challenge I have, I place 100 over now and now. 
is a co-worker. Yes. Well, you need to educate them as well. Yes, yes. Yeah, well, you, but you have issue. to start yes. up here. If the attitude up here no, is correct, a, no, no, it will no, no, filter no, no. down it's, eventually. You're, not, you're talking about the old I'm talking about day to day. We have placed them, May the second they go in, May the fourth they get sacked. He just forgot which room he go to and deliver. This is a very famous hotel who want to do CSR work. Mm. This is why I have uh, certain apprehensions around this thing about moving people into the mainstream. The mm. assumption first that's right. is that the mainstream is ready. Absolutely, yeah, yeah that's, and, that's huge. And currently, I don't think we are there. So whether it's an employer, whether it's a school, mm -hmm. um, um, we, we, we want to do it, the intent is clear. Why do you need to do it? Can they not survive on their own in their, their own ah. special school? Why do you want to integrate them into mainstream? That's exactly my point as well. I think, I think if, we, if the mainstream, within inverted commas, is not ready, then I don't think... Uh, but what are the benefits of wanting to move them into mainstream, wanting to make them work regular jobs and all that? Well, for, for want of, in my opinion at least, for want of a, uh, any other reason, it's, it's about really acceptability. Mm. Okay. If, if you have a larger part of your population functioning in a certain way, they get up at a certain time, they go to a certain big tape, you generally want people to feel that they are part of that. And it's fulfillment. And it's fulfillment. So it's, it's self-esteem, it's fulfillment. So yeah. the, the, the intent is correct, but the practice itself requires the for mainstream different. to be able to embrace that. That's right, it does. And, and yes. that then is a multi-pronged thing. Um, and, all, and it requires support. Yes. We yeah, have to put in right. a support system to yeah. support the people going into... Yeah. The mainstream. And there should be a continuum <coughs> of solutions, yes. Yes. even yes. for integration and inclusion. And a continuum so of support. Some will fare better in a sheltered right. uh, place, <coughs> enterprise, but they get yeah. to also enjoy the rest yeah. of Singapore. Yeah. Some will have a little bit more support, mm -hmm. you know, and, and maybe where a coach or, or someone will, will follow them, you know, in, in their activities, help to interpret and negotiate. Sorry, it's also necessary to have a, um, a system in place where we look at the people that need medium support. Mm -hmm. And then when they get to a point where they they need twenty percent less support, being able to recognize that, it so that they move up, it comes down to everybody is an individual, and everybody has to be treated on on an individual basis. So you cannot lump them into groups. <coughs> so we can't say it's just this or that, but it's really a continuum. Yeah. For education solutions, for employment solutions, I think it's it's a continuum. Well, oh, right, certainly, you know, you know, Denise, earlier on when you talked about what were schools that have been put up. I, I, I think that's the right direction, but I'm also mm. thinking that we, we probably need to start first with the very people who have got a major stake in all this, and that's the parents. Mm. Um, very true. Um, we all work with somebody with special needs at some point, and we all know that generally they do take a little yeah. bit more time than normal. Um, they, if possible, and I've been told at least in, in the intervention with my son that, you know, whatever you do with a normal child, just do it more often yeah. and for longer with Matthew. We find when we're working with the children, the positive reinforcement is the thing that produces the best results in whatever you're doing. Mm. But over and over again, when I talk to parents who are at home struggling with a child who isn't meeting their expectations, who's... They're, they're, they're angry, they're disappointed, they're confused, denial. they're afraid, they're in denial. You know, he's going to be all right if he works harder, he'll do better. You know, you do it or else. You do it or you're punished. You do it or this. You, that's you Asian, must, right? That's Asian. Oh, that's very Asian. Much so. yeah. But if you can flip that, and if you can, if you can go to the positive reinforcement model, you know, the well done, I love the way you're sitting so quietly, then you don't have to say, sit still. You know, when your child is sitting still, you tell them, hey, you're doing a really good job sitting nicely there. But parents don't know what I'm talking about. I had a huge conversation with, with some lovely, lovely people who've got a delightful child and they're trying really hard with him. And I talked about positive reinforcement and they listened and they said, yeah, absolutely, you know. And then we were doing something and the child actually achieved. And the mother said, wow, you're not nearly as stupid as I thought you were. Oh, but well, that, that itself is negative, right? Exactly. And I said to her, you know, what just happened? But we have to and teach him she said, but I didn't model. say he was stupid. I'm saying he's not stupid. I said, but you said the S word, no, you know, you, you just, just don't go there.